a little YouTube. It's Ted here. I wanted to give you an update on my hybrid bicycle project. Started out with this uh, K2 ZED 2.2 mountain bike from REI and um, took off the front gearing so I could make room for a wide pedal set, which you can see on the right hand side and the left hand side there. Shifter is still intact right there. It's one of those push button shifters. I enjoy these. This is nice, easy to use. Very clear gauge. Hard to shift, of course, when you're not pedaling, but there you go. Um, let's do just a quick handlebar tour of the bike. Gas throttle, gas shutoff switch, rear view mirror. It's the wind guard. This right brake lever goes to the rear brake and it's electrically, it'll cut the electric motor off. Um, I made these wind guards out of uh, aluminum, so you just tuck your hands in behind there. It does give you some protection from the wind. The brake cables are attached to this windshield, which I love. It's great, you can tuck in underneath it, keeps you warm. This mount, I just made out of some PVC. Frankly, I should, I should tie it down a little better, but <clears throat> anyway, uh, it has a tachometer for the gas motor on it. Um, this is These two things are the mounts for the windshield, the big mounts, you know, hold most of the weight. Cup holder, bottle holder, really, because you can't really put a bottle holder down below. Left rear view mirror and the wind guard for your left hand. This is the only bike computer that I have so far for the electric functionality of the bike. Okay, if I'm really quiet, you might be able to hear it turn on one second. Maybe not, it's a small click. So um, this bag is for your like contents of your pocket type of thing. Um, the saddle on this bike, I have mounted at kind of a weird angle because I like to slap down on this bike, ride it a little hunched. And let's move on to the main power triangle of the bike here, this is where I keep the uh, battery, the control electronics box, and the gas motor. Those are all in this triangle. Originally, I, I just had, and you can look up my previous video, I just had this BBR tuning gas motor on the bicycle with the, it's a 38 tooth uh, rear sprocket with a chain drive. And like I said, I've made a video on this bicycle before. You can go check that out. Chain tensioner still works really well. Very pleased with that design. You know, see, keeps it nice and tight. 38 2 sprocket. I just, I have a spray pan that black since the last video. And then the gas tank for the, the um, motor is on a rear rack. Um, you'll notice a lot of zip ties in my design. I even use zip ties structurally here to keep the rack on because they don't rust. They don't have to be retightened. And uh, they're cheap, and you just do your maintenance if they need to be replaced. You inspect them, you replace them. I even have a zip tie here to keep part of this intact. And it's been on there for two years. It's got no problems. So this nice mount that they sent me with the engine kit goes on really well with the brackets. There's a little rubber between all these joints to minimize vibration. And the nice dual chain transmission up here. There's a chain here, and there's a chain here. Basically, it runs the whole length. Very strong. Air boxes here. And then I've made this um, cover to cover up the top valves and the carburetor. Protect it from the rain. And here's a choke lever here. So that's on choke on, choke off, slash drive. And uh, this rain, rain cover I just affixed to the muffler cover. This isn't the muffler, this is the muffler cover with the factory bolt here. And then a couple other screws that I did screw in there. So it's a pretty, um, I think they call it high, high carbonate plastic. Like it feels kind of like, like it would be a metal, but it's not, it's still plastic. This is metal, it's aluminum flashing material, black. I have it duct taped together for now. I will figure out a riveted solution or something like that in the future, but I'm still taking this thing out on test rides, figuring it out, figuring out how these components do with the heat of this muffler directly adjacent to them. I may end up going with like a double wall solution here. 
Um, right now I have an inner triangle and then it's overlapped here. So there's two layers of metal between uh, the muffler cover and the controller cover. And the controller never hits anywhere near it. It stops around here. I have a, an internal like um, housing for it and it's rubberized as well for impact. All the wires start being fed out of here, you can see. Start coming out this way. This is a 48 volt 12 amp hour battery. The charging cable gets tucked in under here when it's not in use, so it's nice and secure and in place. Um, the power out cable is zip tied over here, heat shrunk. The main um, plug is here, so you can see these clip-on lights from Schwinn for either side, which are really nice. And you see I have them strapped onto the suspension tubes here. It's the same width as the handlebars, about one inch tubing. So it works really great, and I love that because it keeps it off the handlebars and I don't have to mess with it and it allows me to project further onto the road surface and not be in people's faces, which is also really nice, like cars, for instance. Like if you put your lights up here and you pull up behind a Miata, that's right in, right in their face. At least down here, you're projecting onto their like trunk. It's much more curious for being on the road. And also, if I wanna just eliminate the path underneath me with one of these, they rotate like that. So very nice, I keep it right there. Um, the motor here is a 36 volt motor, brushless, uh, DC to AC, you know how these things work. I have the torque arms from e-bike as well, a little bit of rubber here, just a little bit to pad it, make sure it's all good, so that the torque gets transferred up onto the suspension arms, it's not just being, it's not just being uh, transferred onto the bottom bracket here. So there's a couple different ways of doing that. And uh, that plug just keeps everything looking nice and neat. A um, couple things, couple other things about this bike I wanted to share with you. The uh, Portland Bike Works Alexander Graham Bell. It's, I like it enough. And uh, <laughs> pop you out of your hypnosis there. And the battery is a 48 volt, 12 amp hour battery running into a 36 to 48, 36 or 48 volt controller and that goes to a 36 volt motor. Um, I did that because this motor is rated at 750 watts, but the 20 amp hour battery was like for kits that are 200 to 500 watts. And I really wanna make sure I was maximizing the power out of this engine. When I put this battery on, this thing started to really kick. And if I take the safety switch off, like there's there are two wires you plug together that make the road legal safety switch here. Um, it just, I mean, it. It's crazy. You can feel wind coming off of it. It goes really fast. All right, so that is <clears throat> a basic tour of the bike and its major components. I want to talk about a couple next steps I'd like to do. Maybe the next video, we'll see. Um, I'd like to get a new e-bike computer set up to mount here uh, so that I can have a little bit more accurate information and be able to tune the electronic parts of my bike like I'm able to tune the gas parts of my bike. Um, and uh, secondly, I'd like to add a couple more safety lights onto this thing, including some more rear lighting. Right now I just have a single rear light that's paired to the front and a reflector. And I have one on my helmet too, but I would like to have more lights. For instance, a LED light here that directs down and a couple um, back there on the down tubes too that I can just kick on when I want to uh, be better illuminated, like at nighttime in the city, for instance. I want to look like a little orb of light that you can't miss. All right, well, if you have any um, comments or suggestions, or you want to hit me up and talk about any specifics of the components or the design, please feel free to leave comments or send me some messages. And uh, until next time, stay well. Peace.